my name is Anita Foster. I'm the Library Media Specialist at Autry Middle School in Kennesaw, Georgia. And today I'm joined by... Jeff Crawford. Good to see you guys. He's our principal. And a couple weeks ago we did a video in which we made some grilled sandwiches. And uh, Miss Mary said that there's only one person that likes my pickles better than her. I love these pickles. They're amazing. So today we're making Miss Foster's famous pickles. Now, I get asked all the time to please share the recipe with people, and I'm like, it's on Pinterest. It seriously is on Pinterest. The reason I don't want to share my recipe, I don't measure anything. It's that easy, okay? So we have some tools here now. Some of you may need parental support and help with this, but we have some knives here. They're sharp. And then I also have this thing. Uh, I bought it years ago to cut sandwiches. If you look at it, it's kind of like edgy and wavy and stuff like that. So I bought it to cut sandwiches and stuff, but a couple weeks ago, I cut some pickles for it with it, and Mr. Crawford seemed to really like those. It was so, amazing. All right, so we're going to make some pickles here. And here are some things that I have learned. I have learned that if you cut them in slices, you fill up more containers. And typically when I do this, I have more people asking for them than um, just Mr. Crawford. So these are, though, the very first pickles that I've had to purchase. This Or cucumbers I've had to purchase this year. Uh, the others have come from my garden, but my garden is now no more. So all we have to do is we cut them pretty thick. And uh, I normally wash them off really good, but we're getting these straight out of the bag. You can decide to keep the end and put it in or not. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And when I say we cut them pretty thick, we cut them about a half an inch, quarter inch, half an inch thick. And then we put them in the container. So that is going to be your job. You get to cut pickles. Oh, first, sanitize. I did sanitize before he walked in, but I'll do it up again since I'm making him do it. In case you were wondering, I'm the chef's assistant today, so I'm learning. This is the first time I've made pickles. So he's going to be cutting those pickles up, and while he's doing that, I've got something else. I've never done this before, but I have thought, wow, this would be kind of cool if this worked. So I am going to brine, because what's what I'm doing is brining, really. I'm going to brine some carrots and some peppers, too. So we're going to put carrots in a container. And we're going to... So what do you like so much about these pickles? May I use the You sure cutter? can. What do you like so much about these pickles? Uh, the, the fresh, crisp taste. Of homemade pickles is truly amazing. So people are amazed when they ask me for the recipe and I tell them the ingredients and I'm like, there's, they say, it doesn't have vinegar in it? No, they don't have vinegar in it. That's amazing. That is. You want to get in close to the camera and show them? See the ridges. Homemade greatness. So what we're doing is brining, really. And when we brine, we, um, thank you, Mary. Um, Miss Phelps was taking care of something for us. When we brine, we are soaking something in water and adding salt. What that salt does is it pulls the natural liquids out of those vegetables and it puts the salted flavored water into those vegetables. Did you know that? I did not know that. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, you can do that last one. It's okay. just sitting there. Okay, so here's a couple other things that I add into my pickles. I add in dill, and this is not from my garden. I wish it was, but my dill bolted early. Bolting is when it grows flowers. So I just put some dill. Okay, even through my mask, I can smell this. Can you smell that? Oh, wow. That's my favorite thing about making pickles is the smell of the dill. So I'm just putting a couple of fresh sprigs in here with the... The carrots. All in the same one? Uh-huh. Kind of full. Okay, then we, we, we'll have another one in just a minute. 
And I will say, we, we served Miss Foster's famous pickles at our family dinner last night. We had some family in town for my daughter's birthday, and they thoroughly enjoyed Miss Foster's pickles. Okay, so I'm going to pour my water in just so we have another container for, for some of the pickles, because that is too full. You want the water to go all the way up to the top. You can put some of them in here. I thought I could do that. You can. Thanks. All right, so I have another bag. We'll do those in just a minute because I have two other people back here wanting pickles. So what we do is then we'll put some more of this. Um, you want to put some of this in? Sure. Just save me a little bit because i got one other thing we're going to do real quick. Cut or no cut? I don't cut. I just sometimes peel it off like that. The other thing we're going to do, if I did not do this, Miss Mary would have a fit. Are you ready? I can smell this already, too. <laughs> this is another one of my favorite ingredients. This is whole cloves of garlic. Oh, so good. Yes. So what we do here, I'm going to move these off the cutting board so that we have the cutting board and they can see what we're doing, is we take the big knife and we lay it on its side and we lay it on top and then you just smash it. And I do at least two in every one. Sometimes I do more depending on how garlicky we want it. Oh, I smell it. Yeah, now my hand's going to smell like it all day. Okay, so mash away, Mr. Sous Chef. The next thing we do, and I just unscrew the lid, is I have peppercorns. And so we just put a handful, about a tablespoon of peppercorns in each one. We got three of them now. I'm going. I'm going to do a fourth one here in just a minute. If I have enough peppercorn. And don't, don't tell my wife, but cooking is kind of fun. I know. Now, a couple weeks ago, I went to the store and I could not find any dill, fresh dill, and in, in my garden it wasn't working. So I bought some dill wheat and I gave those pickles to people and they all said it worked really well. So. Uh, two to three in each one? Two to three in each one. <laughs> We're going to put more cucumbers in there. Carrots are good? Carrots are good. I already have them in there. But we have are something. we saving this? Yes, because I have another one we're going to go. We're going to do. Here's my other one. And I cheated. I bought this. I bought this already cut up, but I just bought some little pepper rings because sometimes people like pickled peppers. So I'm just going to put this whole bag of pepper rings that already cut up for me into there. And then we just put the dill, the garlic, and my leftover peppercorns. I don't have the rest of it. Yeah, you can put the rest of it in there because I don't have much peppercorn. And then the final ingredient is salt. Now, I use kosher salt. Do you know why I use kosher salt? I do not know. Okay, so before my late husband passed away, he bought a big box of fine, which means it's really small, kosher salt. A big box of it. It was like two pounds of it. The reason I use kosher salt is I just finished that box, and that's what I've always used to make my pickles. So I know it works. So I put in a couple tablespoons in each thing. See, I don't measure. I just do. Now that salt water is what's going to work to pull the flavored water that has the dill and the peppercorns and the garlic into the uh, vegetables and then it's going to start the t a flavor now here's the hard part you already know the hard part don't you waiting to eat them yes you have to wait three days to eat them so they will sit in the refrigerator for three days before anyone can eat them but let me just tell you they are amazing there you go so that's how you make foster's famous pickles all right, Autry, I hope you have a great day, and I hope you learned something. Good to see you all. Take care. Happy cooking. 
Welcome back, Autry. So it's been three days, and our food has been brining for three days. Remember, we put it in the salt water and put some special seasonings in, garlic and dill and peppercorns. And so today we're going to eat them and try them. Awesome. Very excited. Let's okay. Go. So the first one is going to be peppers. Do you like peppers normally? Are you asking me? Yes. For the most part, yes. Uh, for the most part, no. I normally do not like peppers. So I'll take the small one. I Put them on our plate. Now I'll let you go first. Really good. I have not tried these. Good flavor. Thumbs up. So do you want them again? Yeah. You know where I could see these? I could see these on a sandwich. Oh, that'd be real. Or salad. Or on a salad. Okay. Um, next one is carrots. Do you like carrots? I love carrots. Okay, I'm going to try and get one that's down behind the brine. You may just like be slipping it onto the plate because the fork doesn't want to stab it. There we go, we got two. Hey! I like those. Those are good. Very crispy, very fresh. Highly recommend. I will nice. be doing those again. Got some garlic flavor. Nice. All right. We thought could be here to try it. It's awesome. But you know what? They can make them in their house and try them. And then we have pickles. This is my favorite. Mm-hmm. Enough salt? Mm. Very fresh. Good flavor. Salty, garlicky. I think they so, can use more salt. Yeah, but still awesome. We did good. That was awesome. You should try it at home. All right, Miss Mary, Miss Brenda, you want to come try? Oh. Yeah. We share. <laughs> if you're here, you could have some too. That's right. Maybe someday. Unless it's on staff lunch day where the staff gets them all. All right, there's the peppers. Okay. Got a little, a little piece. I don't do little pieces. <laughs> Good. That's awesome interesting. Flavor. I think it would grow on me. Okay, now my favorite. I think that'll be my favorite too. Better than pickles? I love carrots, so. Well, here, so I might grab that one because they're not coming out really good because it's a plastic fork. Here you go, Miss Mary. I got that one out. Oh, those are good. Mm -hmm. That's that I favorite. could eat. That I could mm -hmm. eat a lot of. Okay, and then now we have the pickles, which I think needs more salt. Mr. Crawford said they tasted good. My favorite things in the world, just about. The same as pickles. Finish the carrot. Oh, <laughs> they're finishing the carrot. I agree. A little more salt, a little more salt, but a very good, fresh taste. Mm. Nice Better snap. Better. All right, so Audrey, now you know how to make some pickled vegetables. And so I hope that you will go into your kitchen and show your mom this video. And maybe it's something you, your family can do together. All right, Audrey. Happy cooking, and remember, steam is cooking. Cooking is steam. Eat your vegetables. Science, math, uh, engineering, art, and music. Thank you, Ms. Foster. Good All job. Right. Have a yep. great day. Y'all be good.